In the early days of the auto industry, General Motors had a decision to make. A decision that required data available through vehicle testing. Unfortunately, in their efforts to determine whether to put four-wheel brakes on GM vehicles, the testing became invalidated because it was done on public roads. And one of the roads was repaved before the testing was completed. So in 1924, citing a need to control the condition of their testing roads, GM, led by then-President Alfred P. Sloan, created its Milford Proving Ground, which became the first dedicated automotive testing facility in the world. Michigan is mostly flat land, and GM needed a test facility to simulate a variety of conditions. A farm was purchased in Milford, Michigan, in an area known as the Bluffs. This hilly area was the highest point in Oakland County, and proved to be the perfect plot for the proving ground, which originally had a few buildings, a water tower, and some test roads. A lot has happened since 1924. New land was acquired. New tracks and facilities constructed, resulting in what today is one of the largest testing facilities in the world. The Proving Ground has over 100 buildings on 4,000 acres and 140 miles of road. Both paved and gravel, these roads match any description you can think of. Bumpy, hilly, straight, curved. And they provide driving challenges of varying severity. And the goal at the Proving Ground is still the same as it was in the early 20th century. To provide vehicle testing, allowing engineers to constantly improve the ride, durability, performance, safety, and overall operation of GM vehicles. 15 million miles per year of vehicle development and testing are performed at the Milford Proving Ground. The original buildings and water tower can be seen from the main security gate. One of those old buildings, the original Chevrolet building, has expanded over the years and is now home to hybrid development, where the Volt is getting its finishing touches. Up the road a bit is the Hydrogen Vehicle Development Center, which is currently where work is done on GM fuel cell powered vehicles. It's flanked by a hydrogen fueling station and a bank of large solar panels. Yes, General Motors makes its own hydrogen and powers its own facility. Not far from there is a 7.2% test hill where trucks can be put through various climbing and tow haul scenarios. Just beyond Sloan Lake, which of course is named for Alfred P. Sloan, is the corrosion testing area, comprised of the dedicated gravel road for stone impingement testing and the salt grit trough, and the salt mist chamber. In 20 weeks of testing, 10 years of corrosion can be simulated on a customer vehicle. Built in 1924, the oval test track is a 3.8 mile long four lane tri-oval with three banked turns of up to a 30 degree bank angle. It is the original high speed test track of the proving ground and is currently used for development of ride and handling powertrain, and brake systems. Within the oval track also is the Fenn Holden test area, named after the first Milford Proving Ground director, Fenn M. Holden. This area contains a number of important durability and ride development test roads, including the famous Seven Sisters Road, and accurate duplications of several public roads. It was discovered back in the 1960s that proving ground engineers were using some of these ill-maintained local Michigan roads for testing. So the roads were duplicated at the proving ground and have been maintained to stay in the same shape they were in. The circular test track is a five-lane banked track used to simulate highway driving at various speeds. It's 4.5 miles in length and the banking on the highest speed lane is 30 percent. This track, like all Milford Proving Ground tracks, has a very specific safety protocol. Special driver training, safety equipment and operating procedures have been developed to ensure the safety of personnel during all vehicle testing and development operations. Inside the circular track and surrounding Black Lake, 
is the four mile ride and handling loop, which contains various types of pavement, including bumps, curves, swells, and simulated railroad crossings. It is used for vehicle durability testing, as well as overall vehicle evaluations and ride and handling development. The famous vehicle dynamics test area is better known as Black Lake because after a heavy rainstorm, it looks like a large black lake. This test pad is 67 acres in size, which is equal to 59 football fields and contains three different low coefficient test surfaces to simulate testing on snow and ice. This area is used for all types of vehicle dynamics and limit handling testing to develop and validate vehicle limit handling properties and the calibrations of ABS, traction control and electronic stability control systems. In between the circle track and the oval track are the east-west straightaway and the military straightaway which are each 1.2 miles in length. The east-west is used for powertrain testing and calibration at speeds up to 85 miles per hour as well as vehicle durability testing. The heavy vehicle test area also known as the military area is home to the military straightaway. In World War II President Roosevelt called Detroit the arsenal of democracy because of the commitment made to manufacturing military equipment, weapons, and ammunition, GM was instrumental in helping the United States government. And the Proving Ground played a big part in this by providing testing and development of military vehicles such as tanks, half-tracks, and amphibious vehicles in the 1940s. Today, the military area is used for truck durability testing and off-road development and contains a gravel loop used for electronic stability control calibration development. This beautiful area contains a large pond, wetlands, and a variety of wildlife including a fox den. The world famous north-south straightaway is three lanes and runs three miles in each direction, including the high-speed turnaround loops at each end. This road is used for vehicle high-speed testing, including powertrain, brake system, and vehicle dynamics testing up to the maximum speed of the vehicle. The south turnaround of the north-south straightaway is considered to be a photographic risk zone, and many spy photographers have snapped photographs of GM vehicles undergoing testing on this straightaway. GM has developed a strict protocol to minimize photographic risk, including camouflage of test vehicles and performance of certain testing after dark. Beyond the north-south straightaway are roads with 30, 45, and 60 percent grades. These are used for testing park brake systems and transmissions. Another unique road is the famous Belgian Block Road, an incredibly rough road paved with granite boulders to simulate the block roads of northern Europe. This road is critical for durability testing. The Proving Ground has a crash lab, including barrier and rollover test facilities, which perform restraint system and vehicle development and validation tests. Approximately 300 barrier, 100 rollover, and 1,100 restraint tests are performed annually at the Milford Proving Ground. The GM Powertrain Emissions Facility is responsible for development, testing, and validation for vehicle emissions components and calibrations for GM vehicles. It contains the high feature test facility, a pair of test chambers capable of simulating extreme environmental conditions enabling GM engineers to simulate driving a vehicle from Alaska to Pikes Peak, Death Valley, the Everglades, and Nova Scotia without ever leaving the proving ground. The world famous Milford Road Course is a three mile, 17 turn road course designed to simulate the best parts of a number of race tracks in North America, along with Germany's famed Nürburgring. This track came about because Bob Lutz, after joining GM in 2002, was surprised the proving ground didn't have a racetrack for testing. With his influence, it came to be. Leadership. Like many before him, Bob Lutz, with this move, 
simply continued the process of putting in place the best testing and development facilities and procedures in the world, thereby helping to design, build, and sell the world's best vehicles, the General Motors Milford Proving Ground.